Jessica Ellis had always prided herself on being a determined journalist. She never backed down from a story, no matter how tough or inconvenient it might be. For her, journalism wasn't just a job, it was a calling. Each assignment was a puzzle, and she saw herself as someone who could solve it, uncovering hidden truths that others might miss. So, when her editor handed her the assignment to write a profile on Marcus Sterling, a powerful and wealthy businessman, Jessica felt a rush of excitement. Sterling's name was everywhere in the news, and everyone admired his success. Jessica believed this would be just another profile to add to her list. She had worked on high-profile stories before, but this one felt different. As she began her research, she thought it would be like any other, just about a successful businessman. But little did she know, this story would lead her into the deepest and most painful part of her own past. Jessica spent weeks gathering information about Marcus Sterling. She reviewed old articles, interviews, and business reports, diving into every detail she could find. She knew Sterling was famous for his intelligence in business and his charitable work, but she was determined to look deeper. After all, as a journalist, she believed in finding the truth, no matter how uncomfortable it might be. As Jessica poured over old records, she found something that made her heart stop. It was an article from decades ago, buried among other old stories. The headline caught her eye, Sterling Industries Accused of Fraudulent Business Practices, Father of Local Executive Blamed for Company's Collapse. At first, she thought it was just a coincidence, but when she saw her father's name, Richard Ellis, in the article, she felt a wave of shock. It couldn't be true. Her father had worked for Sterling Industries back then. He had been blamed for the company's downfall, and the scandal ruined his career. This revelation hit Jessica hard. She had always believed her father's career failure was due to bad timing or bad luck, but now she had to face the possibility that Marcus Sterling had played a role in destroying her family's life. As Jessica thought about the news article and her father's past, she couldn't help but feel a knot of anger building in her chest. She remembered how her father had been a respected financial executive, trusted with large projects, and how he had always promised her that everything would work out. But when the company collapsed, everything fell apart for them. Her father had been blamed for something that, in Jessica's eyes, he hadn't done. The family lost its wealth and they were forced into a new, much harder life. All these years, Jessica had tried to make sense of it, thinking her father's downfall was just one of those tragic accidents in life. But now, faced with this new evidence, it felt like a betrayal. Could it be that Marcus Sterling, the man she was about to interview, was actually responsible for destroying her father's career and ruining their family's life? The thought made her stomach turn. She knew she had to find the truth, but she wasn't sure how far she was willing to go. The day of the interview arrived, and Jessica felt a deep sense of dread. She had spent months preparing for this moment, researching every detail of Marcus Sterling's career, but nothing had prepared her for the personal pain she now felt. What was supposed to be just another story now felt like a confrontation with her past, with her family's broken legacy. She walked into Sterling's office, which was nothing like she had expected. The room was filled with expensive furniture, and the large windows showed a breathtaking view of the city below. Everything about the space screamed wealth and success. Marcus Sterling, a man in his early sixties, greeted her with a confident smile. He had an air of control, as if he was used to having people admire him and hang on his every word. Jessica, however, wasn't here to admire him. She wasn't interested in his charm. She was determined to ask the questions that mattered most to her, 
no matter how uncomfortable they might make him. Jessica's heart raced as she sat down in front of Marcus Sterling. She could feel the tension building, and her mind was focused on one thing, the truth. She started with her prepared questions, but she couldn't help but return to the painful memory of her father's fall from grace. When she finally spoke about the article she had found, mentioning her father's name, she could hear the sharpness in her voice. Emma. Sterling, she began, I've been going through old records about your company. I found that my father, Richard Ellis, was named in the fallout from the 1999 collapse of Sterling Industries. He was blamed for the company's failure. The moment she said it, she saw a shift in Sterling's expression. His smile didn't fade, but it became more strained. He waved her question off like it was a minor detail, something not worth discussing. Ah, that old story, he said dismissively. He acted as if it were an irrelevant piece of history that didn't deserve attention. But Jessica wasn't fooled by his smooth demeanor. She knew that this wasn't just a distant memory for her, it was her father's life, and the pain she felt over his ruined career made her voice firm. Jessica could see that Marcus Sterling was starting to become uncomfortable. His smile faded, and his eyes narrowed just slightly, betraying the controlled image he had spent years building. Still, he didn't let her see any sign of weakness. He responded in a cold, almost mechanical way. I did what was necessary to protect my company, he said, his voice lacking any real emotion. In business, sometimes people get caught in the crossfire. Your father made decisions that led to his downfall. It wasn't personal. It was just business. Jessica could tell he had said these words before, perhaps many times. It was the kind of corporate speak she had heard countless times from powerful people who had never had to face the human consequences of their decisions. The words felt rehearsed, empty. To Sterling, this was all just another chapter in a business deal. But to Jessica, it was much more than that. It was her father's career, his reputation, and their family's entire future that had been destroyed. The coldness of his response made her blood boil. She wasn't going to let him get away with it. She knew now that it wasn't just business to him. It had been a ruthless choice that had ruined her family. After the interview, Jessica left Marcus Sterling's office with a heavy heart. Her worst fears had been confirmed. Sterling was not just a successful businessman, he was the man who had torn apart her father's life and, by extension, her own. The more she thought about it, the angrier she became. What struck her the most wasn't even his lack of remorse, but how easily he justified his actions. To him, her father was just another casualty in the cutthroat world of business. It didn't matter that her father had worked hard to save the company. What mattered was that Sterling had made sure to cover his own interests, even if it meant ruining the lives of people like her father. Jessica felt like her entire world had been turned upside down. All these years, she had lived in the shadow of her father's disgrace, but now she had proof of what had really happened. The question was, what would she do with this knowledge? Could she expose the truth without destroying her own career in the process? Sitting alone in her office, Jessica felt the weight of the decision she now faced. The truth was in her hands, but it was a heavy burden. She had the power to expose Marcus Sterling for the ruthless businessman he truly was, to reveal the man who had destroyed her father's career and their family's future. But doing so meant more than just writing a story. It meant putting her own career on the line. Sterling was powerful, and taking him down would have consequences. But as Jessica thought about her father and all he had suffered, she realized that silence was no longer an option. She couldn't let this injustice go unnoticed. 
Writing the story wasn't just about exposing Sterling, it was about reclaiming her father's legacy and, in a way, her own. It was about standing up for the truth, even if it meant sacrificing everything she had worked for. The cost of staying silent was too high. As she began to type, a sense of clarity washed over her. For the first time, she felt like she was taking control of her own destiny, writing her own future, and telling the world the truth.